I'm not backing out. I've always loved YouTube, Dad. That's a coward's way! You know, there's going to be more videos. Oh, Dad! 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 There's going to be more videos. You were gone! I'm and doing now more you're videos, Dad. Now. I'm doing more videos. Oh, Dad! Dad! Oh, my God! Dude! Dad! You can't do this, Dad. Oh, I can't do no. this! Dad! Dad! What are you doing, Dad? What you put us through, and now you're going to do it? The audience is always supposed Hi, I'm Joe Wiley. Welcome to another instalment of the show that likes to get frisky in the public convenience of pop. In the house tonight and sitting extremely comfortably, my three expectant chums. We have Edwin. Hiya. Hello. Zoe. Hi. And you thought punk was dead. Wielding the new Mohica, Jason Donovan. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Thank you. So. Thank you very much for coming, all of you. Now, our chumba wumba, Cool Britannia's worst nightmare. A Cleopatra, the real sound of young Manchester today. And a Radiohead, the 90s answer to Pink Floyd. We'll try and hammer out the real deal over the next 45 minutes. But before for all that, here's an urgent news flash. We have some children of the 80s in the studio tonight. Jason, Simple Minds, did they mean anything to you? Yeah, totally. They meant sort of the 80s. Um, but you like them? I don't know how to define them and how to put it into sort Pomp of words. Pomp rock, I think that's the phrase. Yeah, so I, was was probably, we, yeah. I was probably 19, 18, and I think that's a very influ influential age for a human being. Do you ever get embarrassed when you look back to your you know, 80s days, the, the bouffant, the blow dry? The, the mullet. The mullet. The mullet. Are you just I jealous do. of those then? I never regret in my life, you know, I've, I'm so lucky as a human being to be doing something I'm passionate about. Um, and oh, this is the act talker. You know, no, no, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe, no, no, maybe, maybe you're right. But I, 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 I I'll stand up for it because that's yeah. what I believe in. Yeah. Talking um, about the Prince's Trust, do you do a lot of work for charity? The funny thing is about charity is uh, it starts off as a lot of good work for charity, mm -hmm. and then you, you get this um, process of kind of delineation where if you're on a bill, you've still got to be bottom of the bill, even though you're doing a lot of good work for charity. So it's all about, you know, promoting the, the individual artist's career, inevitably. Yeah. 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 Have you ever opened a fate? I've never, I, I've, well, what I've I done is, your old I, tell you, I, tell, I, I tell you a lie, what I have done is, <laughs> my son is at Salisbury Road Primary School, and what I have done is done a discotheque for Salisbury Road what? Primary School. <laughs> what I've got is got my little quad 303 amplifier <laughs> in the corner, these electro voice speakers, yeah. and uh, some of the older participants, because believe it or not, I am a young parent, they go, Edwin, and turn that noise down. It's terrible. What were you playing? What were you playing? Well, I thought it's mostly parents that are going to be here. So, what do you have to play? Of course, you have to play chic, don't you? So, Sorry. No, <laughs> so, what about you? Do you go to all these charity functions? You know, um, it's mostly not. I mean, I do, I do sort of my bit for, for. But I've never actually been to any of the charity music ones. I was asked to present one, and I just thought it, they're always incredibly disorganised. You were working with the Spice Girls over the last weekend. Yeah, they are always at Highgrove, aren't they? they you can really you just imagine like Williams going, Hi. Dad, and I really. So want to meet Posh and just like makes the phone call and the Spice Girls are in their helicopter. Oh, they do and they go I love the fact that they've been shopping when they go. you see they had their little shopping bags yeah. they bought shortbreads from Highgrove they must have Literally. a little shop there it's so bizarre well, you must have done some royal variety shows yes, in the I past have, and were I they... remember you did do you? yeah god like? which was it especially for you yeah something yeah. like that what, what are they like doing Royal. <laughs> very, very, royal. very royal. Who did you meet? Which ones did Princess you meet? Princess Margaret. Did you? She, well, yeah. No, she's... What's she like? Well, she came in the toilets with me and we were hanging out for ages, but it's... <laughs> well, it's well, it's really? No, 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 not really. <laughs> Great. Um, Jason, how can you have gone from this thing that, you know, you're Jason Donovan, mm -hmm. you're Scott Robinson, mm -hmm. you're Mr. Pop, mm -hmm. you know, you've got the, you know, mm -hmm. lo lovely blonde mm -hmm. haircut, you're the son-in-law that every mother would like to have, and all of a sudden, you're Mr. Naughty. <laughs> that's that's not Pop. 